So one step forward and one step back. I undid all of that beautiful work I had just finished on that chassis. I found that the rear crossbar was going to be smack dab in the middle of where the engine drive shaft would need to be. And it was just going to be too much work to try and make that all fit together. So I've come up with a new plan to have two uh, front to back tubular frame rails and the rear track mounts will actually just be some square tube branching off of that. So here we go again. Well, we've made some pretty good progress here. I have been able to rework the chassis rails. So I'm now using the, uh, the tubular rails front to back. And that has allowed me to install a piece of angle for the back motor mount, a piece of quarter inch flat bar for the front motor mount. And I've been able to tack in the pump mounting bracket there so everything fits nicely the back of the engine is just flush with the back of the bumper that's exactly where I wanted it to be there's enough space around the two pumps so that I can do some plumbing and uh, work quite easily and it's all coming together very nicely So that's a wrap for the chassis tonight. I checked the fitment for the engine and everything's lining up nicely. So I drilled the engine bolt hole pattern onto these pieces of flat. And uh, yeah, it's all coming together. I like the way it's looking. Next step is to finish getting the track slider assemblies uh, prepped for mounting to the machine. This will be an interesting task. Uh, I need to modify a little bit of uh, some of this I think it's 10 gauge plate uh, to be able to hold a new set of idler wheels at front on the track. So that will be the next project, but uh, for now, Thanks for watching.